Helping seniors connect with technology is what one retirement community is hoping to do. SNN Local News reporter Amber Stidham has more. So now I can get in here anytime, day or night, and Google it myself, and it's, I love it. But Googling is just the beginning. Residents at Bahia Oaks are taking their communication skills to another level using Connected Living, a system that allows residents to learn about the World Wide Web, exchanging emails and photos with family and friends. Diane Gossett used to depend on snail mail to talk to her sisters, but with Connected Living, she's sending out about three or four emails a day. And we have Skype, which I didn't even know what that was, but my sister and I have done that. She lives in Texas. And I tell some of these people, you know, they have relatives that live in other countries. And I said, you can Skype them and see, let them see how young you are. Joan Phelps made a career for herself in the Air Force, so computers aren't new to her. Now she's paying bills online and, of course, checking Facebook. It's my best friend. It's, uh, I'm, I'm never lonely. I'm never without something to do. Though only about one-third of the residents use Connected Living for communication, they all take advantage of the touchscreen computer displaying all of the activities and meals during the day. At any time they can, they can walk by and they can see what the menu is and uh, what's the next activity that they're going to participate in, where, what time it's, it is at and where it's located. No doubt these residents have joined the high-tech generation. Reporting in Sarasota, I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News. The Bahia Oaks residents can also get computer lessons each Thursday with a Connected Living staff member.